Probably uh, a weird game, but a comprehensive victory. Happy with that, are there? Yeah, I'm really happy. I thought we played really well from the first minute, and it's some, definitely something to uh, take with us to the next game, to, in the final. Obviously, uh, out there, they're quite a technical side. Was that difficult to deal with? They were very quick. Yeah, they were quick, but I think we just we dealt with, dealt with it well. We uh, could keep the ball really well. We played out of the defence, so I think we just dealt with it the right way. In these two games, we've seen a lot of change in Lars' side. Obviously, most of the players there trying to get into that squad for the final. How's, how's that been from your point of view? Yeah, I'm just trying to give my 100% today to... Obviously, I want to start the final games. It's a big game so that you want to take part of, and I think today I did well, so hopefully, hopefully it gave me something. Scored a fantastic goal. Was that a shot or a cross? Definitely a shot, 100%. <laughs> no question about it. And as this tour as a whole, have you enjoyed France and Italy? Yeah, really nice. Just been fantastic, and uh, it's always nice to get the, this game uh, games against these teams uh, from around the world. And ahead of the finals, how confident are you as a team that you can do well in those games? I think we can win both definitely. If you play like we can do at our best, we're going to win the both. I think. And in terms of a big crowd, what would it mean to have a lot of supporters there to you? Yeah, it's just always this this feeling in the stomach that I think it helps you. It helps me at least to perform and give it give everything to win the game. And in terms of obviously that final game, if you do start making history for the B team and for Brentford as well, it must be a lot on your shoulders. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we like it, and I like it, and uh, we're going to give everything to to make history and win two finals.